Why? I'll be doing anything to see what I want. Hello, Zerody. I've just flown in for video number. I don't fucking know, and I don't care. Not at the moment. It's fucking whatever time. So we've just come across a problem. Oh my glob. Now I like you. Really? Know. Adventure time reference. Oh yes, that yes. is Phantom 0073 cruising the land, burnout, burnout rover, and pulling in the car park with a handbrake. So he's pulled out some pictures, and I've gone, oh, yes, yes, yes. No, not quite good enough. Oh, yes, and then we come across a really good image, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> no My no. images. <laughs> that one I'm not really that keen. That one, that specific one, because it, it's just not that grand. But there's another one which we will. I don't even know. Have you figured out how to chuck the image in and just go, done? There is a thing in the movie maker, I think. Let me have a look. I have a look. Because I can look. get it, because I can access that while that's doing that, because we're not using my laptop. For once. For once! And so, the pro we, the thing we come across is, because this is an image, image A, B, and C. Well, so, A, Z, A, Z. I think it's going to be pronounced A, Z. Created the ultimate weapon. Now, there, th there are three possible... Well, there are more than three possible timelines. But the three major ones are... A, it uh, fires and kills 99% of the humans. And that leaves you with the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. It's one way of looking at getting all the games into, a, into an order. B is... Um... It didn't work, therefore the original timeline, Pokemon timeline works, but, you know, without the Mega Evolutions. Or C, it worked, and it worked well, it didn't backfire, and it stopped the war. And what do you get? You get Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, and X and Y. Wow, that looks kind of cool. Um, a little bit out of focus, but... So, have you any thoughts? <laughs> so, what was the thing that you then went and tried saying, you know, wasn't quite... <laughs> that that lot that I fucked you up on. No, you're just like, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. You said something, and I'm like, ah, that's what? a good idea for a video. What? What if the the Megasteins or the Keysteins are fragments of the ultimate weapon? No, you turned around and said, well, it doesn't explain to us enough with the Mega... The oh, weapon. Wait, wait, you're yeah. like, what? Don't go delve tie, into it. If there's a tie to it. Well, you said there's not enough information. Actually, actually I'll just pull up that image on my, my laptop right now. If we can figure out how to get the image up, we will. Otherwise, we will be doing a little something. I'll put it in and... Or something now, to see, it. this picture here, we got... Obviously, AZ creates the ultimate weapon as, as the top central thing showing the ultimate weapon from X and Y. <coughs> but then have it an alternative... Th oh, hang on. This... Well, yeah, this... Like, it doesn't fucking matter. They're gonna look at the. They're gonna be able to eventually. Yeah. See the yeah. Image. So if I'm in that way, sort of. Um, weapon backfires and kills almost all humans, which results in the spin-offs Mystery Dungeon, where you play as the Pokemon. You have an option straight down, which is where the weapon doesn't work, which resulted in the original Ruby and Sapphire. And then into the down right. Thank you. Is if the weapon in the wall, which basically gives birth to a Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, and probably and therefore the Mega and the Mega Revolution. Revolution. So, your thought, you was just like, doesn't delve into it enough. Mega Stones, the Mega Stones themselves are the frag uh, meteorites and such, and they're the ones that got through. Rayquaza is just like, you know what? Let's fucking let this one go and fly through. It's not going to do too much damage. But, yeah, but Rayquaza itself used meteors as pa as power for its own Mega Revolution. And that's why he doesn't require a mega stone, but requires a move dragon ascent. Because that is a move that only he, he can learn for a start. Well, only he can learn, but I think it was without one of those moves. cheating your game. Just yeah, to no, put no, that no. out there, <laughs> so it's a legit move. Um, I think the move itself was created by the Draconids as a way for Rayquaza to fulfill their wish and attain a higher state of being. Now, nothing is ever said on how he learned it, to begin with. Nothing's really said on the it's on a dragon either. It's just There's fuck all information. This might actually end up having a nice tie-in to the Sun and Moon Ooh. games. Because that might explain a bit more in the Mega Evolutions, it might not. 
But right now, what we're thinking is hypothetically, Pokemon um, X and again. Y explains the origins of Mega Evolutions is the, the evolution point of things. Ah. Hey, I got it. I got it. What did you do? Did you go add photos and videos? Uh, or something? I clicked there, which added it down there, but we'll have to we'll have to split the video to get it and work on it. Because yeah. still, do the, still do the narration, so that's okay. Well, I... Uh, we just figured out how to do it and all that we stuff. Just got to get a, we, the image. We, we're just working out a few... Um, trashy object, trashy um, parts of the system we're using, so... Yeah, so... Now, my thought is... Um, or if you like chinks in the armour. I think the best way to look at it... Yeah, that's a really good good way to exam, uh, put a nice spin on why we haven't fucking heard shit on how it works. It's chinking the Game Freak's armour. They haven't fucking done it than explain it properly. It's quite a haphazard expla explanation. <coughs> But, uh, but do do we know whether they will or not? Hopefully, and actually, as we stated in the previous video, that sun with sun and moon, they might actually be, to do, go with their other theory with volcanic activity and the possible of a meteorite and that. As I said with the ending of the dinosaurs, or theoretically ending them. That's, could this, could that's this, an explanation in and of itself, the scientific uh, thing. Because it created an ice age. But anyway, oh, well, they suspect it did. Anyway, but anyway. Sorry, there's actually more to that one than it just created an ice age. But I like the simple, <laughs> the simple way of looking at it is—is is it created an ice? It basically, basically hit the earth, spread a whole shit, whole heap of fucking dust and shit, and cut, blocked the sun and created an ice age. And being reptiles, yeah. they die. Look, it's kelp, bro. Basically, that's, that, that's the very simple dumb down explanation. Anyway, no, that's not a dumb down. That is so fucking dumb that you would have to be a monkey of the lowest caliber. To struggle to comprehend. Um, do I answer uh, that or do I not? Dude, I I understood it. Then again, I've got a. Well. Yeah, but any, anyway, so I think they do state at some point that a uh, uh, mega stains have to do with what meteor meteoroids. Meteorite, or uh, meteoroids. Meteoroids. Well, being a more. There, there is term, there is a def there is a definite difference between meteorites, meteoroids, comets, such. There is actually differences. So if we actually question the word and I go it's this word it's because I do know that that is correct it's not the most accurate it is fucking correct so Rayquaza eats meteoroids and meteorites eats them for breakfast lunch and tea in a way in a bit to protect his his planet you know he loves his planet he loves earth and so the end result is he eats them but he didn't have the capacity to mega evolve because the conids they revered him all that stuff but they never really had a reason to be like dude you're our god can you fucking help us so he's gone and went I can't fucking help you so I haven't got the strength you know Ray, uh, Groudon and Kyogre being dickheads and they're still too powerful for me. You know, I'm knocking them on their asses, but they're still getting... Ah, uh, because of the primal state. The primal state was overpowering him. Uh, overpowering him. But what because it was, it was but too, that, but too that was quick a power, That was the power of nature, though, that was... That's it. And Rayquaza's just going, fuck it, I need a fucking way of overpowering these guys again. They're fucking pissing me off. They're doing too fucking much damage. Fuck you. Just fuck you, I'm fucking overpowering this. The, Dracon the Draconids have gone, probably... I don't have to hazard a guess. I've gone, Rayquaza, here, if you do, uh, if you do this, 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 and this, there might become an actual move. He goes and does that, and he learns it, and he, be he mega evolves. Woo! So that explains why he's the only one that requires a move, and not the uh, Mega Stones, because he doesn't have one um, required. But then, how come... It, uh, the Mega Evolutions were hardly even known up until X, you know, X and Y is just like, hey, here's a new form of evolution. But in a... Yeah. In a canonical sense, right? Where does the ultimate weapon fit in? How does it fit in? But that, well, what about AZ? How, exactly how old is he? Because he's rumored to be, what, over 300 or something? There's... The, the war was over... I think it was 300 years before, prior, and his clothing style is that of about 
someone who's been around for 300 odd years, they've just gone, fuck it, it's I'm just going to wear something just got, that It's basically fights. tattered and whatnot, as all of this if he was homeless, which he basically was anyway, because being a form, apparently a former king, which had a special flowet, which appears in X and Y as well. Yes, yes it does. It the eternal also, flower. That's not explained enough. That's one that's not explained enough. Yeah, because, <coughs> yeah wait, what caused the flower? Or was it just a... What was it like as a flavor? Because obviously it would have had a previous form as flavor. Because you can't get a flower without a flavor. But that's the question. That's the qu that's and there's one no way. That's and there's no. Question. And there's no way it could be a ditto using transform because it would have to go back to ditto at some point. Yeah, it is stated that it's a flower. Exactly. But I'm just clarifying that it can't be a ditto because it has to go back to ditto at some point. Yeah. So, Rayquaza is explained. He's easily explained. He eats the meteorites and meteoroids and. Attained the move through the teachings of the Draconids who've gone and turned around and said, We need you, we need your help. He's gone, okay, I've learned this move. What next? Woo! -hoo! You're doing it, you're doing it, woo! We're gonna love you forever more if you can fucking help us, and bam, Mega Revolution. But that only explains the Mega Stones, like the Pidgeotite, the Morlite, the Tyranna Tyranotite? Tyranna's alright. Uh, tablet please sir and fair enough but it doesn't explain how the mega the keystones like keystone keystone or keystone as I think Zinnia's got hers on the anklet as an anklet, yeah, anklet yeah. how did the keystones come to be are they, so are, they a are they a fragment of the, of the ultimate weapon but then what about, but on that simil, on a similar note, what about that giant crystal sundial in Anastar City? What's the resemblance of that? Could they be, could they be something of a part of that as well? Were, because the only way, only way was shown as a crystal. Were they two, were the two crystals that have been sundial on the weapon as one, and then when the weapon fired, oh, we don't know way back when. <laughs> Way back when, if it was AZ would have fired it, obviously, considering it's stated in the story, but I'm correct. But when it was fired, did they split, forming the sun, that crystal for Anas that's now in Anastar City, and the one for the ultimate weapon? And, di and, because, and the other thing to this, on that, remember when we get the upgrade to a thing that allows us to collect more Mega Stones at the end of X and Y, we have to see Professor Sycamore in front of the sun dial. Mm. And it's at sunset, too, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's on set. So, how's that for a theory? So, hypothetically, we're talking this. My thought on that one, quite literal, quite legit, and quite, quite harsh. There is, I think that the sundial in Anastair and the crystal in Vegeta's Engine, the ultimate weapon. Sorry, this, this is just a USB thing for a USB. So what that is, is they came from the same crystal. Uh, if I look at Breath of Fire 3, it's a prime example, is uh, Momo, one of the characters, Momo, she plays around with these, these crystals called Chrism. And dependent on certain factors, a lot of the crystals will have the same base energy. But depending on what you do with it, it changes its color, its uh, its energy type, its power, and it's based on what you do to craft the more potent version. You know what? What do you fire into it? What do you soak it in? Sort of thing. Could hypothetically the two crystals have come from one massive fuck off? You know, one fuck off big crystal. And they fuck off it's big been, crystals as they are. <laughs> it's been split. Just this was the energy from the weapon firing what split them. Would have to be. If I doubt the, it though, because the because the uh, design of the yeah, but could the weapon have partially backfired? I think hypothetically. Could that be where the Mega Stones came from as well? The the design it would work. No problem. It's all good. But it's through the um because they come from the same crystal. They both have high energy yields they've both got the sharing of the energy the aura the only and god damn it you need to chuck some of them <laughs> items 
some of them image of memories on my USB. He loves it. He loves using fractured words, folks. That's just him. <laughs> yeah, I love fucking with people's minds. Go fuck with your own mind. So the two crystals were separate, but through a, I hate that stupid screen coming up. But through the firing of the um, the the ultimate weapon, if it was fired into the and it's their sundial, and that's what caused fracturing from both on both of them to cause their current design, and the fragments that have come off are the keystones. Because the problem is nothing's ever really been explained. So, game freak, find this video, fucking try and figure something for you guys for yourself what you guys would think work best, and fucking. Do it. Write it down. Script it so it's canonical. <laughs> and now, like it all, they'll end up explaining it more in the in Sun and Moon. You watch. I hope so. Hope we get some fucking some finality on this one. Cause and just while I'm at, we'll link the uh, theory video to Sun to the Sun and Moon titles to this one. Somehow. But well, I can't we do can. it on my tablet. I found that one out. We can do it. My, is my uh, tablet having fun? Well, yeah, it's probably. still going. Alright, uh, well, we gotta go, because we might have another video to do, or might have some more thoughts to be kicking up, so. Gonna love you, gonna leave you, and. Ciao! Adios, amigos! Bye.